Hello guys, welcome back to the CTX Cloud. This is the video number nine in our NetScaler training series. So in our last video, we have seen some aspects about the NetScaler HA and what are the basic requirements before you are going uh, to do the NetScaler HA. So today we are going to do the practical of NetScaler HA and you guys can see that my lab overview. So this is Hyper-V uh, hypervisor and there are two NetScaler here. So NetScaler 1 and NetScaler 2. I have already logged in this NetScaler. <coughs> so this is ns1.ctxcloud.in and this is ns2.ctxcloud.in. So first of all, you guys need to go on. Uh, first of all, you guys need to take the snapshot of your NetScalers. So whenever you are doing any configuration in your company, make sure take the snapshot of both the NetScalers. Because whenever you face any issues, make sure you have a backup plan and you guys can revert all the changes. And this is recommended in all the enterprise level companies. So now we are going to do this NetScaler 1 and first of all, you guys need to click on system and click on high availability and click on nodes. So in our last video, I told you that make sure your both the NetScaler are on same version, make sure your both the NetScaler have the same uh, hardware configuration, make sure you guys have the same license on both the NetScaler. So I know we will face a, a challenge here because my both the NetScalers are running on different version but to be the practical I just want to show you. So first of all this is uh, for the to configure the NetScaler high availability first the first step is if, if you guys need to check on high availability and click on nodes and you guys can see that this is my first NetScaler and it is showing that NS1 is primary. Similarly, if you guys go on your second NetScaler, click on system and click on high availability and click on nodes. So this is my second NetScaler and it is also showing at primary. So make sure before doing the HA, you guys need to uh, make your secondary NetScaler as an keep secondary. Because if you will guys, if you guys will not do this, this is going to wipe out your primary NetScaler configuration. So to do this, click on this NetScaler, secondary NetScaler, click on edit and here is the option, click on stay secondary. So in that case, my first primary NetScaler configuration gets synced to the secondary. And if you guys will not do this, this uh, configuration do the vice versa, like secondary NetScaler configuration get replicated on the first NetScaler. So now I have done this, click on stay secondary and click on OK. So this is perfect. So NS2 and the node state is stay secondary. Now you guys need to click on go on your primary NetScaler, click on add. So now I am going to add my secondary NetScaler here. So click on 192.168.1.1.10. So this is the management IP of my secondary NetScaler. Click on NS root and this is the password and click on create and you guys can see that my secondary NetScaler has been added here but the state node is unknown right now. So I am going to quickly refresh this and you guys can see that this is primary NetScaler, this is secondary and stay secondary and you guys can see that there is a green check mark here so HS status is showing green. Now I am going to my secondary NetScaler, I am going to refresh the configuration and you guys can see that automatically HS status, this is green and it is secondary. So you guys can see that my secondary NetScaler is also here, I mean primary NetScaler is also here. So now you guys can see that synchronization failure region or synchronization state. So it is showing that auto disabled, so just click this and click on for synchronization and click on ok and now you guys can see that there is an error here so it is showing HA version mismatch between primary and secondary so in my last video I told that make sure you are both on that scalar have on the same version before you are doing the uh, HA configuration so to fix this, we need to, I need to upgrade my NetScaler, primary NetScaler. So let me quickly show that. So if you guys will click here and you guys can see that NS12.1. So this is the version of NetScaler. So that's my NetScaler is working on 
primary net scaler is on 12.1 version and this net scaler is secondary and this is on ns 13.0 so i need to upgrade this net scaler and on the same level where it is showing ns 13.0 so first of all we need to upgrade this net scaler so let me show you how you guys can upgrade the net scaler so in this video we are going to cover two topics topics here first net scaler h and second is how to upgrade net scaler so guys to proceed further on upgrading net scaler uh, you guys simply click on desk uh, configuration and after that you guys have a option called system upgrade click on this option after that you guys have option download firmware so once you guys click on this option it is going to ask your citrix credential i mean the username and password i have already put my credentials here because i cannot reveal this on the screen so i have logged in my citrix account after that i am going to download this firmware which is which is released 13.0 90.11 so i have already started down downloading and you guys can see that i have already downloaded file here so now you guys need to click on again your net scaler after that click on choose file click on local so i am going to up, uh, upload this file from my local system so you guys can see that in downloaded i have this build version so click on that click on open and click on start click on upgrade so now it start uploading this file on his uh, hard disk and after that it will automatically start upgrading process so the estimated time it is showing that one hour so we are going to pause this video and we'll back after upgrading this net scaler so guys you can see that i have upgraded this net scaler and it is asking for the reboot so it says saying that reboot is required to configure the changes on the net scaler so i am going to close this and i am going to reboot this system so just click on configuration here and after that you guys need to click on reboot and click on ok so we will be back after reboot so guys now my netscaler is back after reboot so quickly i am going to log in into this netscaler and first of all i will see that uh, what are the configuration uh, previously in this netscaler are stick here or not so first of all i am going to traffic management i am going to check all my servers and whip is uh, are they still exist here after netscaler up upgrade so you guys can see that the servers are still there my virtual whip server are still there so that means we have upgraded this net scaler successfully now uh, uh, previously we have the issue while syncing the configuration from primary net scaler to the secondary now we are going to see that now my both the net scaler are on netscaler 13.0 version and it is also on netscaler 13.0 version so now i am going to on my, going on my primary netscaler just click on system high availability click on nodes and here you guys can see that synchronization status is succeeded so now my all primary configuration has been replicated to the secondary netscaler so now i am going to see is uh, uh, the actual configuration on the netscaler uh, to as well so click on ok and here also you guys need to go on traffic management load balancing then virtual and you guys can see that again the my pre primary old old configuration from the primary netscaler get replicated to this secondary netscaler same with the server so you guys can see that the servers uh, are also get replicated from primary primary net scaler to the secondary net scaler so this is like how we can configure the net scaler ha now we are going to do uh, we need to roll back those changes which we have done before we started the net scaler ha so like stay secondary so click on system and you guys need to click on high availability click on nodes and you guys need to select this uh, secondary node 
click on added and now you guys need to click on enable actively participate in HA so click here click on ok so now this netscaler is going to participate actively in HA same configuration you guys need to do on your primary netscaler so just select this primary netscaler netscaler click on act, uh, edit and you guys can see that it is already in actively participate in HA so click on ok so now we have configured successfully the netscaler HA so now we are going to do the force failover so how you guys can do the first force fail failover so this is my primary netscaler ns1 and this is now acting as a primary so i am going to select this click here and click on force failover click on yes and click on ok after that refresh the state so it is going to take like 3 or 4 second to force failover so just wait for one or two seconds and here yeah, now you guys can see that the netscaler 192.168.1.100 which was primary netscaler now become the secondary and my netscaler secondary which was 192.168.1.110 become primary again we can do the uh, uh, let's me go on my secondary netscaler just refresh this and you guys can see that 192.168.1.10 acting as a primary net scaler. So again we are going to do the force uh, failover back. So click here, just select the primary uh, net scaler and click on force failover. And click on yes and just refresh the state. And you guys can see that now 192.168.1.10 this net scaler is now acting as a secondary net scaler so also you guys need to do one thing before uh, before doing this failover make sure you will uh, guys will click on force synchronization before you proceed for the failover so guys this is the end of this video on the net scaler high availability how you guys can configure the net scaler high availability in a gui mode in the our next video we are going to do this on this uh, cli mode also we are going to see uh, the net scaler upgrade on the cli mode how you guys can do these things uh, from the command prompt so thank you guys this is the end of this video if you uh, really like these videos just subscribe my channel share this video with your friends and just put your comments in the comment section thank you thank you guys